Okay, hi. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Pedro, and I'm just going to have a quick, a quick talk about something I've, I've recently built, uh, which is uh, Detrace Flame Graphs as a, a service. So, um, so the first the problem was that I came, came to was that I was trying to scale this WebSocket server, which was CPU bound, and I didn't know, didn't have any idea what the CPU, uh, what the server was, was spinning on, what it was doing. So, um, and generally, um, if you, you need to profile your application, your server side application, as you do, um, as you, uh, if you want to produce a high, a high quality and responsive uh, application. So, the solution, um, as Anton Wally already mentioned, is uh, Dtrace, um, and Dtrace, Dtrace flame graphs. Uh, which are these nice pictures uh, where you can analyze uh, uh, just samples your uh, stack um, on the main thread and uh, prints out uh, how much time in, in, uh, it spends on each one of those functions. And then you can infer which part of your application is taking time on, on CPU. So it turns out it's not that easy. So um, you have to be running um, Solaris or SmartOS or some other distribution of open Solaris um, and have to have Node.js compiled with 64 bits or, and with Vtrace um, flags. And after a lot of uh, wasted time, I finally managed to produce my, my, my flame graph. Um, so I, I went to Twitter and I had this idea and if of the service that spits out a flame graph every time you, you, you push to a GitHub repo. And the, the, the responses were, were positive and encouraging. So the idea was that I, I push to GitHub and the system runs a benchmark script. And then the system outputs a flame graph. Um, so this was the architecture I came up with where you have on the top a bunch of, of machines that, it, that has a runner uh, process and coordinates the work with several workers. And that top part is the smart OS part. And then you have a dispatcher that is responsible for coordinating uh, uh, work uh, with the runners. And then below there you have the central um, repository where you keep all your event data in. And you also have webhooks for GitHub um, notifications for when you push some code to. Um, so it's um, demo time. Um, yeah, where is it? Here. So, yeah. I'm going to, this is just running locally, so I'm going to um, pretend I'm, I'm GitHub and do a push. So there's a, a new, a new commit. And so it's starting, it's preparing the worker, downloading the repo uh, from GitHub. And when it's finished, it's installing NPM dependencies. And you can see the output here. And it's deployed the Dtrace script, starting it. Mm. So it runs for a while. <coughs> and <coughs> yeah, finished. So let me see if we have. Yeah, we have a result here. So, yeah, your flame graph. Um, yeah, so um, the idea, my idea for this is to be free for open source projects. Um, so it's not yet available. It's not yet finished, as you as you can see. But if you're interested, so come come and ask me. Find me later and ask me more about this. I'm PGT on Twitter and and GitHub and. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>